Hello there, I am uh, Jeff Tavs. I am the digital executive producer here at Fox 13 News. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. And you know, the weather is nice for right now, it's supposed to get a little uh, worse over the evening, but hey, good time to get out and drive if you had a full tank of gas, which that's what we're talking about today is, is gas. And you know, if you saw the news yesterday, oil tumbled to under 100 dollars a barrel yesterday and that's the first time since march 1st and that's even with the ongoing crisis in ukraine which people thought that the gas would remain high uh no matter what uh as long as that was ongoing but it has fallen and uh, actually that was yesterday and today right now gas is at 95 dollars and 38 cents a barrel which is good news for consumers and the next question would always be, well, when am I going to see that at the pump? When am I going to see a lowering of gas for myself? And the experts say, well, that's going to be in a couple of weeks. That is not going to happen immediately. They say the reasoning is because it takes time to uh, for barrel to go down to your neighborhood pump. So the question is, let's see if it's really that bad as it that as it was last week. If you remember last week, gas prices were around 431 a, a gallon in Utah. It's now 435. So that has gone up. That is not uh, showing any decrease whatsoever, despite what happened on Monday. It is happening now. The one piece of good news is, is if you take a look, and this right now, let's take a look at this is the Salt Lake Valley. If you take a look and let's let's zoom in a little bit. The prices have kind of stabilized. Uh, you know, most of them are 429. You see a couple here, 427, uh, 431, 429, 439, 439. There's a 449 here. Last week, on Thursday and Friday, we were seeing prices shoot up to 476, and a couple places even higher. And we were all a little worried about that because we said, well, if, if, if it's going there, and this, you know, when's it going to stop? Luckily, it looks like it has stabilized some. Um, and, you know, please leave in your comments, see if you have any, where is it, uh, if you're seeing anything cheaper than this. Uh, but that is the good news that, it, you know, and it, hey, the good news is we can take it, right? Because, you know, you certainly don't want to pay more than, than this, but you don't want to, you know, two weeks ago, we were seeing, you know, almost 50 cents cheaper. So uh, if you take a look around the Salt Lake area, 428, 428. Uh, you can even go on our website. If you go to on fox13now.com, you can see here's where to find the cheapest gas across Utah. Just search cheapest gas right here, and you'll find this. And you can go in here and click on all these different areas, Salt Lake City, Provo, St. George, Ogden, every county in Utah, and find out where the cheapest gas in your area is. And if you go on right now, well, the cheapest gas in all of Utah is at uh, Post Stop in Riverton. Anybody ever been there? I've never been there. Uh, but it's 3.54 a gallon right now. But it appears you have to pay cash. So who has cash uh, to pay that much? But maybe you do. Um, other places, it just looks 4.14, 4.28, 4.31 at Smiths. A couple of places. This is all in Utah. Uh, you know, if you go to Salt Lake City, you can click here and you know much of the same places this is a uh, viewer uh, provided information uh, user provided information and you know so it, this is not necessarily up to date because if you look here there are cheaper places 419 430 uh let's pull out let's take a look you know uh you know in the ogden area uh you know, we're seeing, you know, same same places, 428, 423. Anybody seeing anything out there? Anything with, uh, you seeing anything cheaper in your area? You know, let me know. Uh, if you look down, let's go south. Let's go south to the Provo area, Utah County. Let's come on, come on. Uh, same thing, 428, there's a 435. There's a 419, looks like a, at Costco. What a shock. Costco's always got those cheaper prices now. Are you going to sit in line? Are you going to pay the uh, annual fee and uh, just to get maybe 10 cents cheaper? I don't know. I probably wouldn't, but some people would. 
Uh, you know, so let's go down. Uh, let's go down even further. You can see this is kind of a heat map right here. Uh, our color is in the uh, the rosé, uh, almost 428 to 451 a gallon. But if you look at places further west, like we're bad, but if you look in places further west in Nevada right now, uh, 451 to 474. Wow, California, over five dollars, over five dollars a gallon in almost the entire state. In the entire state, um, let's go look more in Utah. Let's go south, St. George area. St. George, what are you, uh, what are you looking at for gas prices right now? 435. There's a 454. 454 at. Where is this? Come on, come on. Uh, not working for me. Not showing up. Guess it doesn't. There we go. It's Smith. So this uh, 454 is at Sinclair on uh, North Bluff Street. So uh, you're paying a little bit more in the southern area of the state, the southwestern area, 435, 439, 439. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, gas. It depends on where you go, but it seems to stabilize, and that's good news. And the other good news is we look back at the crude oil prices that are right now, 95.38 a barrel. Uh, if you look at the prices, uh, gosh, look at that mountain. It's like Everest. Uh, the top at, at three on March 8th, a week ago today, it was $123.70 a, uh, a barrel, and right now, it is $95.38 a barrel. So relief could be coming soon. Let's, uh, you know, let's hope that we'll see that at the pump um, and hope that, uh, you know, we all get some relief. And, you know, if, if we don't, at least things have stabilized uh, because they could have been a lot worse. Uh, or and it looked like they were getting a lot worse uh, later, in the, or la later in last week. Again, go to our website, uh, fox 13 now.com type in cheapest gas right there you'll find here's where to find the cheapest gas across utah and you can again you can click all these different cities every single county and you can find everything you know gas in your area or what, what you'd like uh what, what you're paying for and uh yeah maryland 429 in ogden maryland white 429 ogden looks like that's what we're seeing so uh, thank you for joining us, or joining me. It's just me by myself and the voices in my head. Uh, so thanks. Have a great day. And uh, if you hear of any cheaper gas, let us know.